today I'm going to be sharing with you what I've made over this weekend. So this is just a project share and I used the Chasing Butterflies paper pad from uh, the craft stall. Not entirely sure what it is. These are from the reject stall. And I also used the um, ephemera pack. I have a lot of it still left so I'll be making a lot more stuff. Um, but this is what it is. So I'll start with the biggest thing. I made this loaded pocket, which is very similar to the one that I made last weekend. I'm kind of obsessed with making it, so I wanted to make another one. Um, I'm going to pull everything out and then show you individually what's in all of it. So this is the loaded pocket and I did a shaker again like I did last week, this time using some different tool and it's a very similar sequence mix except it has a little bit of purple in it this time. And down here I decided to do the Hello Friend. Um, this is a ephemera piece from the reject store and this is a, it was actually leather and I painted it um, with gesso and some gold foil, not gold foil, I painted it with some gold paint that I have so that turned out super cute. And I did this little cluster over here. I love how this turned out with the giant um, little pieces all hanging out. And then this Happy Girls Shine brighter. So that's the pocket. That was made using a 12 by 12 piece of the Carousel collection. Then I made these really cute, I'm trying to get the glare out, embellished tags. And I just did a ruffle of tissue paper across the middle and then put this little banner on. I can take them out and actually show you because this is the packaging. So there's no glare. So there we go. So they have like little pieces and they all say happy mail on it. That's using one of the, um, I think it's an Amy Tan roller stamp. And I just embellished them. I really like how these turned out. And then here's the packet without anything. So it's just onto the piece of um, plastic packaging. And that was using the paper from the Chasing Butterflies collection. Next, I made just some mini crepe paper rosettes that um, whoever I send this to, they can embellish these. These are obviously using some crepe paper. This coloured one was from Reject Store. These are just from $2 stores here in Australia. Then I made this cute little bag topper using in some ephemera pieces from the Chasing Butterflies collection, a pink doily. And this is a silk flower that I laid with a paper flower. Uh, the silk flower was from AliExpress and that little paper flower is from Kaiser Craft. Love that. And then this gold foil that says always look out for a good time. Love that. And then I made these really cool like flower clusters. These are giant foam flowers that I got from AliExpress. Some gold leaves that I got from eBay and then the like foliage pieces from the uh, Chasing Butterflies and then I made this bag topper that's from Chasing Butterflies, that's from Chasing Butterflies, I did the same thing with this flower and just laid some doilies and paper and trim. Love that, it's so cute. Then I have this um, crepe paper rosettes, so there's this one at the top here. And then this one down the bottom, and there's one in the middle. And I will pull that out. So this is just on some paper. And they slip in, that's using the ephemera from the Chasing Butterflies collection. And for the bag topper, because it was so big, I just layered two doilies, folded in half, and then a little flower with a mini rosette, and then just some pieces of ephemera. And then I made another wand because I'm addicted to making wands at the moment. This one here I've got 
some trim around the outside. It's quite chunky, but I love it. I've got a rosette. I've got some layered butterflies, some leaves, some foam flowers, some trim. So that is so cute. Here I just embellished this baggie and it says open and then on the inside it has a whole bunch of die cuts that I cut out using the paper that I have. I probably will add some more to this um, later on because I'm not done yet. But I just thought when I had scrap pieces of paper I was cutting them out so that's that. So that's everything that goes into the... loaded pocket and these are so easy to make um, I think I did all of this in a day so it's very simple to make and something that you can do in a couple of hours and they look so so cool when everything's just exploding out of it. <laughs> Next I made this um it's a backpack a paper backpack and I followed a tutorial on this um on YouTube and I layered some flowers and some leaves and then it comes open you can pop stuff in there how I've closed mine is I've used um, the two bows that I've stuck on and they, the tip of it actually just slides underneath it like so and it stays closed on the back I've added a little yarn tassel and this cute little flower charm and then the straps so that was really cool to make and lastly, I've got this tag flip. This is the first tag flip I've ever made and it's so cute. So it's got another like yarn tassel and then a cute little charm. So this is the front and it says hey and it's a shaker. So it's vellum that I've sewn and put everything in there using some flowers just to decorate it with the colour scheme. And then this is some ephemera from the paper packs that I used. Here's the next page, which I made a little crepe paper rosette, like banner, and laid it with uh, a silk flower and a, a paper flower and some tulle. So that's very cute. These tags are about the size of uh, a three by four project life card. Here's this one that I layered with a doily. And some pieces from the camera pack. I love this camera. I want a million of these cameras. Then I made like a mini shaker tag. It's just a shaker. Very cute. Here's the next one. This is from um, Kaiser Craft. And then everything else is from the um, Chasing Butterflies. And here's this one. I stitched some of them and then I did a crepe paper ruffle. This one's got another doily on it. Just some really cute um, pieces. So it says Dreamer Forever. And I've got this cute one. I love this one. I love the trim down the bottom and then the little doggy. And he's saying... Oh, you make my heart flutter. And then there's this one here, which is a um, mini crepe paper rosette that I've made and just laid it with a whole bunch of pieces. And lastly, it's a letter for the person that I've made this for. So that's so cute. I love that. So this is what I've been making. Um, over the weekend and I can't wait to um, share this with you next time so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed please leave a like and if you're new consider subscribing thanks for watching guys bye